Welcome to another episode of Two Minute Tech from Motorola, the show where we show you what's going on inside your phone in less than two minutes. Because Motorola's devices run Google's Android operating system, that's where I'll focus today. But most smartphones around the world offer some of the exact same features. So what kind of accessibility features are in your phone? Time to find out. Start the clock. Okay, let's start with a feature called TalkBack, which is really helpful for people with visual impairment. With TalkBack, your phone tells you everything out loud as you move your finger across the screen. But what's actually happening here? How can the phone know what the text says? Well, it's driven by artificial intelligence. Woo! Let's just say the software has been taught to recognize different combinations of letters and the sounds they should produce if they're spoken by a human. TalkBack can quickly put those letters together, analyze what other words are coming up next and speak a full sentence. Okay, next up is a feature called Select to Speak, which is where you can tap on the screen and have it read out loud back to you. The coolest part is that you can even point your camera or take a picture of signs, books, documents, whatever, and have it read out loud. To be able to read all the different styles of text and even handwriting that's present out there in the real world, you need the help of Optical Character Recognition, or OCR. OCR looks at all the different pixels in an image and can identify distinctly light and dark areas. Where there's a pattern, it can recognize it as a letter. All the letters in a certain area get grouped into a word, and so on. To show you how this works, let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, so I'm gonna write down a totally random phrase here. Okay, perfect. So I'm activating the camera on my phone. We're taking a picture of the whiteboard. So we've got a picture of our sign as if it was in the real world. I'm activating select to speak. Hello, Moto. And there you have it. There are so many other features we could talk about. For people who suffer from hearing loss, you can add subtitles in videos where speech is detected, like TikTok, for example. For people with various forms of color blindness, you can choose preset schemes that adjust the colors on the screen so you don't feel the difference as much. You can even connect external devices, like a compatible hearing aid or even a braille keyboard for other kinds of inputs. All of these are part of what's called the Android Accessibility Suite, which can be found in the settings menu on your phone. Motorola actually has a couple of cool features called gestures, which lets you turn things on and off and access things more easily with just one hand, such as the chop-chop gesture for the flashlight or the twist of your wrist to access the camera. All right, that's it. Stop the clock. So now you know how smartphones can still work for our friends, neighbors, and family members with disabilities and impairments. And even if you don't identify with that group, I bet there's a cool feature in there that you'd find useful too. So happy Accessibility Awareness Month from Motorola. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more episodes of Two Minute Tech. I'm Chris Francica. See you next time.